Welcome to the Zarvio Field Manager Solutions help videos. In this video, we're going to show you how to use one of our new features this year, the Cross Farm Dashboard. On the main page, just above the status bar, you'll notice a little farm symbol as well as your farm name. To the right of that, select the drop down arrow. From here, you'll notice that you can see all the different farms that you have created, as well as all the farms any other user has given you access to. From here as well, you can also add a new farm if you want by selecting add new farm and giving it a farm name. And as you can see, our farm name is switched and we can begin the process of bringing in fields. But if we wanted to look directly at the cross farm dashboard, go to the bar and at the very top, it will highlight blue and it will say cross farm dashboard. Click on that. The CrossFarm dashboard is designed to make you access as much information as you need when you need it through various filters that we have through the system. So, for example, if we wanted to look at just some general information, any risks or alerts for our fields, and any tasks that we've created, we can do so. If you come over to the left-hand side where it says Farm, select that from here, you can select any farms that you want to look at. You can look at farms in your system or other farms that you're working with. So I can select one farm. I can also look at other farms as well. From here, I can also add any particular users I want to look at. So if you have anyone else using this field or has access to these farms, you can select users in there. And as well, you can look at crops. So if you just wanted to look at, say, all the winter barley for these two farms, just select winter barley. Or if you wanted to look at just the oil seed, select oil seed. So for this example, I'm going to select winter wheat. When you have everything filled out, make sure you select update filter. Any change that you make throughout the system, you always have to select update filter. Now, you'll notice here that I'm looking at two different farms. I have one crop selected, and I now have the ability to look at some information within the system. If I select general, I am then given between these two farms, I have five total winter wheat fields. Using the drop down arrow on the far right hand side, I can drop that down and actually see the specific fields. If I click on each arrow or each box individually, it will then give me the field information that I see from the home screen. From here, I can also go back. If we click on risk and alerts, we'll be able to see what our potential disease and pest risks are, as well as the nutrient information. Select on risk and alerts. You will see for these fields that I have that are all winter wheat, I do have some potential disease and risk alerts to look at. Up on the top bar, I can select disease. And you'll notice that of these five fields selected, we do have some potential disease alerts that we need to be aware of. Again, just like the general, if we click on the side of one of these, we can actually go in and see what these potential alerts are. The same also goes for pets, pests. We can also look at lodging as well as nutrition. From here, we can also go back. Tasks are important to see if we've had any tasks executed through these systems. So if we're going out and we're applying any herbicide, pesticide, or fungicide, we can track our tasks directly from this. The cross farm dashboard is a real simple way to go through and manage all your fields across all the farms. So once again, under the filter bar, under farms, you can add in and look at as many different farms as you wish. You can look at different users and you can add different crop types. Just always make sure that you update your filter. 